Now we are inviting our lineage with Guru, Salinas Living Buddhalian Shum, to bestow Dharma transmission and Dharma teaching. First, let's pay homage to the lineage gurus, the Venerable Mang Liao Ming, Master Sakya Zengkong, the 16th Dharma King Kamapa, and Master Tukten Dorji. Homage to the main deity of Homas today, Mahapratisara, the great risk granting Bodhisattva, homage to the three jewels of the altar. Sumo, all masters, Dharma educators, Dharma teachers, Dharma lecturers, assistant Dharma teachers, temple directors, all disciples present here and over the webcast, our guest of honors today. from the director of Nanto Service Center, Mr. Chen. Uh, Mayor of the Nanto City, representative to Mayor Xu, this is Mr. Chen. And the sheriff to the San Jiao Li, Mr. Chen. And a candidate uh, for legislator, Mr. Zhang. And candidate uh, for legislator, Mr. Xi. And legislator, Mr. Tsai. Uh, council member to the Nanto County Council, Ms. Xi. Uh, the head of the DPP party of Nan Tainan City, Mr. Tsai. And mayor to Cao Tun, Mr. Hong. And a representative to the vice president of Cao Tun City, Ms. Huang. And the council uh, to the Nanto Council to the Nanto County, Mr. Chen. Oh, Mr. And the council to Taichung City, Mr. Chen and Mr. Lin. And from the Zhongzhen Institute of Technology, the Survey Engineering Department, Professor Sun. And the Survey Engineering Bureau, um, and the former leader, Mr. Sun and Mrs. Sun. And from Academia Seneca, the president to the Academia Seneca, Professor Zhu and Mrs. Zhu, or Mrs. Chen Wen Wen. And college classmate of His Holiness, Mr. Zhu and Mr. Lin. And the gold medal winner of the 2010 Norway International Piano Competition, Ms. Lin. Mr. Lin, sorry. Uh, Miss World of Singapore 1992 and a missus to the United uh, World United Nations Miss Zhao and attorneys to the Tribuna Foundation uh, Mr. Zhuo, Mr. Luo, Mrs. Huang and Mrs. Zhou. And a well-known um, TV host, uh, 
introduce Mr. Tai Zian and a famous singer, Mr. Xin Long, and the vice president to the uh, Chinese medicine and herbal medicine, Mr. Si, and many others unnamed guests of honors. And I would like to send my warmest regards. Good afternoon. How do you do? Today we had the great wish granting Bodhisattva, the Mahapratisara, barter deliverance, purifications, blessings, harmony and healing annual ceremony, the grand ceremony. And just now, the director uh, of the Nantou County mentioned that the Prime Minister of Republic of China, Taiwan, Mr. Wu Dun Yi, and many other honorable guests came to the Taiwan Lijang Temple. According to Simu, they wanted uh, to be first in making the offerings of incense at this temple. Because today I had to preside over this grand ceremony, so at home I had to perform the practice of this great wish granting bodhisattva, so I could not skip that and come here earlier. So please forgive my absence this morning. Because the Homa this afternoon is very important. And it had great blessings, power. Just now, an ocean of radiance descended upon the ceremony. And the Mahapratisara, the great wish granting Bodhisattva's first symbol, is the great brilliance. So this Bodhisattva has or carries the greatest brilliance, whether in Mahayana or Tantrayana. This wish-granting Bodhisattva is a very special and supreme Bodhisattva are rarely known. Not very many people knows about him. So the candidates who participate in the ceremony are truly blessed because these bodhisattvas are the wish-granting Vajra. So whatever wish you have, the wish will be granted. Whatever wish you make, it will be granted. So he is one of the bodhisattvas in the lotus division of the womb mandala or the Dharma Dhatu mandala. So it's the great wish granting bodhisattva or Mahapratisara can also be called the Mahapratisara Kuan Yin. Bodhisattva. So, in both Mahayana and Tantrayana, this Bodhisattva rarely appears. He is rarely mentioned. And in Tantrayana, it's even, ra even rarer. And it's not easy 
to gain spiritual response with a deity that's well known because everybody asks for something but for the deities who are rarely known uh, it would uh, grant your wish easily so we can also regard him as a very secret guest it came from the backstage to the front row so that everybody can see. So what is the wish granting? When my gurus taught me this Dharma practice, someone asked, So whatever you ask, it will be granted. Is that the case? <laughs> it's not that you just do it haphazardly, but uh, you have to do it properly. Oh. And do it accordingly. So, like for example, it's because Grandmaster said that uh, all wishes will be granted. So I want to ask. Well, let me be the president. But uh, you have to consider uh, your own conditions. Or a lay a woman that said, "Oh, I want to be that famous model Lin Zilin." Oh no, Amitabhut. Then this, the great wish granting Bodhisattva would be dizzy. So whatever someone asks. So if everybody wants to be the president then what would he do? How about President Ma or the candidate-elect candidate Tsai Ing-wen? What would they do? So you have to take into consideration although you can make any wish to this wish-granting Bodhisattva but it has to be suitable to you. So let me share a joke. This is just a joke. Don't think that this is what I think. But it is a joke that was given to me. A husband went to the department store to buy a bra. And he does not know about the size of the bra. So he told the sales clerk, my wife uh, needs a bra. And the sales clerk asked, do you know what size? And the husband said, no. But Master Lian Ji would know because he sold bras before. He knows all the cup size. So we also have a master who sold bras. Uh, talking about the bra cup size, Master Lian Chi would know it right away. But this husband did not. And the sales clerk was very helpful. Was it like was it like a pamel? <laughs> it's a different pronunciation. Is it the size of a pomelo? You know what pomelo is? If you're from abroad, Taiwanese would know. 
六。他说：“比这个鹅蛋还要小。” It's smaller than a pomelo. 那怎么办呢？这位师傅就问了。And then the clerk asked. 像木瓜吗 ？Are they like papayas? 他说：“哎，鹅蛋都不像，哪里会像木瓜 ？”How could they be like papayas? If they're not like pomelos, so are they like oranges? It's a bit smaller than oranges. Ah,、oh, that's pitiful. Then the sales clerk asks, "Are they like eggs? Chicken eggs?" And the husband said. So they are like chicken eggs, but already cooked. So this joke is telling you. So whatever wish you make, you should take into consideration your own conditions. So be considerate. Don't make a wish that's. Far out. So this, so that whatever wish you make, make it so that the great wish granting Bodhisattva can grant your wish. So whatever wish you make, take into considerations. For example, the candidate elect would make a wish to be elected. Of course, that's fine to make that wish, and I hope that the pratisara would bestow that all the wishes made by the participants here will be granted. So this wish-granting bodhisattva is not、uh, just do things haphazardly, but he had great power to grant your wish, to fulfill your wish. But it has to be appropriate and considerate. Is not something far out. That's inappropriate. So whatever we do,、uh, it has to be appropriate and considerate. Someone also presented this joke. Do you want to hear it? This is um. I didn't create this. I didn't mend this. So a single man was going out, and. One of the button of the pants fell, fell off, and he was in a hurry and di he did not have needle and thread, so he asked a lady, a wife, a neighbor, neighboring wife to help. He knocked on a neighbor's door and explained his condition. And that lady thought, well, she could help this neighbor, so she got a needle and thread and saw the button back to the pen.
but at the even at the end, the single man got punched and hit. He had the black eyes, and then his companies asked him what happened, and he explained that he was in a hurry, and then the burden of his pants fell off. So he asked his neighboring wife to help him saw the button back to the pants. And then the lady agreed and saw the button. And she was going to cut the, the thread. And in Taiwan, Taiwanese like to use their teeth to cut the thread. So as she was doing that, her husband came in through the door, and then he punched. He punched him. So you should know that you're being inappropriate. Is that right, Sang Zi? Amitabha, I didn't create this joke. So the great wish granting bodhisattva has eight mudras. You should learn this. If you want to make a wish, you should know these eight mudras. And so after form this eight mudras, then you can you can make your wish. Eight of them. So making the wish mudras. So if you can see it clearly, then you are blessed. So the first mudra. This is the first mudra. The inward five prong scepter mudra. This is the second mudra. This is the second mudra, Kala Chakra mudra. This is the third mudra. It's the Yamantaka or Manjusri Bodhisattva's mudra. The fourth mudra is the mudra of Ushina Vijaya Bodhisattva, Buddha Mother. And then the fifth mudra is the three prong scepter mudra. The sixth mudra is the single prong scepter mudra. And the seventh one is Akasagarbha mudra. And the eighth mudra. It's the Sanskrit hand claps mudra. It's like a clap, Sanskrit helps clasping the sutra. And you should rub both palms three times and then clap three times, back and forth. One, two, three. Three times. Just three times. Rub three times and clap three times. And then back to the original 
mudra of the wish granting bodhisattva, the same mudra as the prajna buddha madhus mudra. So these eight mudras, you should remember them and form them. And at the end, you rub three times and you clap and in opposite sides three times. These are the key. So with these three claps, he would hear this sound. By rubbing three times, you touch his heart with three claps, then your wish will be granted. So it's not that simple. You have to learn these eight mudras, and you also need to know that you have to touch the heart of this bodhisattva and to ask him to grant your wish by clapping three times. So when I form these eight mudras, so you remember them by now? You don't? Then I would ask Master Lianzi of Taiwan Lijiang Sample to print these mudras for all disciples and guests of honors so that uh, their wishes will be granted. So this is called the wish granting eight mudras. Every time you pray to him, every time you make a wish, you have to form these eight mudras and to recite the mantra. Do you know how to recite the mantra? Actually, there is a slight difference in the pronunciating the mantras. Like in India, there are three major gods. One is Brahma, second is Vishnu, the protector god, and the third one is Shiva which is the destroy God. So there is a cycle among these three gods. One is creator and then destroyer. The protector creator is Brahma. The destroyer is Shiva and the protector is Vishnu. And Vishnu also appear as Ganesh and that appears with an elephant head. So Indians respect Ganesh. And Ganesh in Tibet became Ganapati, which is the red Jambala. So Ganesh became Ganapati. So is there a difference in this pronunciation? Yes, there is a slight difference. Ganapati, Ganesh. So it's the same mantra, but in Sanskrit and in Tibetan, in Sanskrit is Ganesh, and in Tibetan is Ganapati. 
So there is a slight difference in mantras. When we say malutya, and in and Malaysians would say malaka. And the lady gaga, so it's the same pronunciation as malaka. And the lady gaga in Chinese is kaka. Actually, is kaka. Kaka should be right. So the book that I wrote is to Jia Jia. It's like eating in Taiwanese, but in Malaysia you would pronounce it kaka. There's a huge difference between Jia Jia and kaka. But in pronouncing the mantra, just follow the master's pronunciation. So when my pronunciation has slight differences, I like to explain it here. Like how Ganesh became Ganapati. Actually, Ganapati is Ganesh. So that's the differences that can happen in reciting mantras. So jia jia can also be kaka or kaka. So lady kaka is also the lady kaka.